So guys, it's Mega giving you yet another deck for Link Evolution. Today guys, we're doing a Unchained deck. This deck's of course my own opinion at the end of the day, and it's completely cool if any of you guys do disagree with any of the cards that I do show in this video. Please bear in mind that we do not have Unchained Twin Samara, so this deck isn't as strong as it can be because Samara just accelerates the deck a bit more, and also it's another Unchained card, so it gives it a bit more plays. So we've had to like, make this like a really good going second deck, so uh, deck, no matter what, Realistically, you don't want to go first, but you st well, even if you do go first, you can still pull up some from form of a board and then just interrupt your opponent during their play. So, without any further ado, guys, if you're struggling to make this deck or any deck that I've ever shown, check out the card up in the description down below. Not if I tell you cards in this game or not, tell you where to find it, such any of any of the card packs, any of the uh, packs, any of the challenge mode, or any of the campaign modules. It will tell you everything you need to know. All right, let's get into the video. Now, off, guys, is two copies of Abominable Unchained Soul. Now, this bad boy. If it's in your hand, it's never a dead card. Because it should one of your cards be destroyed by battle or by card effect. It doesn't have to be an unchained card. It's if any of your cards are destroyed by battle or by card effect. Special summon out this bad boy from your hand. And whenever this bad boy is special summoned, you get to discard one card. Put one card in your opponent's field. That is not a once per turn. Uh, um, turn. However, you can only special summon out this card once. Uh, uh, once per turn. So, yeah. Please be wary of its effect. It does have an effect where if it is destroyed, you can special summon it back to the field. But again, you can only special summon it once per turn. So if you if it is destroyed on the turn you play it, it won't resurrect itself, sadly. We are running two copies of Ash Blossom Joy Springs. Ash Blossom, fantastic hand trap. Should, should your opponent um, have, have an effect where you special, sum, um, special summon from the deck, send a card from the deck to the grave, or add a card from the deck to the hand, you just play it, just negate the effect, absolute great. We are running Panker Tops, because Panker Tops is a fantastic going second card. It's like, it has a Cyber Dragon effect, where if your opponent controls more monsters than you, you special summon out Panker Tops. And also, it has a quick effect where you contribute itself to pop one card on the field. So not only do we have cards to, like, as well as, like, Soul or Link Away our opponent's cards, we can also pop their cards as well through Panker Tops. And then we're running a bit of a Kaiju's, um, Kaiju's, because Kaiju's are absolutely fantastic. We are running one Dust, one um, um, Mystery Dusty Kaiju. We are running the Sea Turtle Kaiju, the Multidimensional Kaiju, and then the Lightning Strike Kaiju. The reason we're running Kaiju's is because you can um, sacrifice your opponent's monster, say they have like a Bowl Sword Savage with four negates. Drip it, give it out a... Um, Give them a kaiju, interrupts their boards a lot. And also, because, say, in this deck, you can link off during your opponent's um, monsters. If they have a monster that's set, obviously you can't link some of it. Just tribute it, summon that a kaiju, and then because it's face up, um, link off with your own um, with your own kaiju. We are running two copies of Tour Guide, because Tour Guide can go into any of the Unchained um, Twins, because they are fiends. And then you can just link some of them away if you want. To with our like blink monsters on on the field and going to higher link plays, so I run it and also it gets the unchained twins out on the field. We are running two unchained soul disaster. This bad boy is absolutely great because you can link summon with one card your opponent hat, well with one with one monster your opponent has, and nine times out of ten you're going to go into un unchained soul of rage and. That's what all disasters does. Disaster does have another effect where if it is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you get special summon a unchained monster from your graveyard. Really great. Now we're running three copies of Ashura and then three copies of Wrecker. Uh, Ash um, Ashura has an effect where you can target one card you have on the field, destroy it, and special summon it from your hand, which is a very nice effect because it doesn't waste your normal summon. However, this. However, it does lock you to only Fiend monsters, which majority of our cards are, yes, but there are a few cards in our extra deck that aren't Fiends. So please bear that in mind. And also, uh, Wrecker and Ashura do share the same effect, where if they're destroyed by battle or by card effect, except by itself, you can special summon an Unchained monster from your deck. So Wrecker and Ashura just bring out Disaster if you want to link summon off your opponent's monster, or brings out Soul if you want to just pop a card your opponent has on the field. And as for Wrecker, she has a quick effect where you can target a card you control, destroy it, and then you can't special summon monsters for the rest of the turn that are fiends. So a lot of Aspel and Traps love to be destroyed, so you can destroy them, plus off their effects. Also, you can destroy like Ashura with Wrecker, special summon one of your... Um, special one of your soul cards, and then just go off on there. Really great. On to some um, spells. We are running three Abominations Prison. Because it doesn't have Unchained in its name, 
you can't like search it off with um, other cards. However, this one card can search any unchained card in your deck. Spell trap or monster, it can search them all. And also, every single one of the unchained cards share this effect, where if they are destroyed while set on the field, you can um, special summon an unchained monster from your deck, which is a really sweet effect. Because like I say you could like destroy prison like a bit mind you can you can use both of this card's effect in a single turn. So say if you open up with two, you can just play one, search out a card, set the other one, pop it with a Shura or with Wrecker, and special summon out another monster with it. And then we're running two cosmic cyclone, because again, back row is absolute horrible to go go up against, especially against like Mystic Mine. This was um this was um this banishes it, and a lot of cards love to be um, love to be destroyed. So I decided to run Cosmic Cyclone. Yes, you could run cards like Twin Twister if you want to blow up like your own cards as well. But I found it Cosmic Cyclone was better just to get because it gets around your opponent's cards that don't like to be that like that like to be destroyed. If they're banished, it gets around their effects. Running three interrupted Kaiju Slumber. The reason we're playing this card is because like again, all all of your monsters don't particularly care if they're destroyed by card effects. So you could, if you wanted to, just summon out a Shara. So your opponent's got a monster, uh, got, got a board. Summon a Shara, just play intro to Kaiju Slumber, wipe the field. And then you summon out a Kaiju to your side of the field and one to your opponent's side of the field. So you have to obviously choose, obviously you're going to choose the Kaiju with the highest attack on your field and give them a weaker Kaiju. And then, because you've destroyed your own monsters... The effect's going to trigger. So because you've destroyed a card on your field and you've got a bombable um, soul in your hand, you can special summon him. If you have, if you destroyed Wrecker or Shura, you can special summon an, a Unchained from your hand. If you destroyed um, Disaster, you can summon an Unchained monster from your graveyard. There's never a dead card. And also, guys, you can banish this card from your graveyard to add a Kaiju from your deck to your hand. If you are running three Pot of Extravagance, you might be run through Robin Extravagance. A lot of my extra deck is not off the same cards. So in case I do banish them with, with Extravagance, I can still have cop uh, multiple copies. The reason why, you just want to keep keep drawing cards and get Terraro Unchained cards. Because you can still win the duel even without going into your extra deck because you have that many um, cards that just like to destroy your opponent's cards on the field. Rolling in one, um, is it warning of the un of the unchained souls? You can run more than this if you want. I just found one to be better. It basically has an effect where if you have a link mon, if if, if you link summon a unchained card, you can destroy one card in the field. Not bad effect. And also, again, if it's set um, set and destroyed by card effect, you get special an, un an unchained monster from your deck. As for um, chamber of the um, unchained. You can special summon a unchained monster from your hand or grave, really sweet effect. And like I say, if it's drawn by a card effect, you get a special summon an unchained monster from your deck as well. Then we're running three copies of Escape of the Unchained. With this, you get to target one unchained monster you control. Like I say, doesn't matter which unchained monsters you you destroy with this effect because obviously they all plus from it. And then you get to destroy one card your opponent has on the field as well. So you can like pop, I don't know, either like a Shara to go. Um, uh, and destroy one card your opponent has. You can go into souls and then, or the abominable souls, then pop another card in your opponent's field. Oh, really great. And then finally, running three impern because again, this is a go second deck. So, infinite impermanence is absolutely great going second because should your opponent activate a monster effect, you can play this card from your hand like an effect veiler if you control no cards on the field. That's why, again, it's great going second. And if you are going first, you can just set this card. And activate it. And if you do, if your opponent activates any spore traps in the same column, you can negate it. So, all around, just flat out destroys. So, I, I may have gone through this deck a bit quick, guys. But that's because it's just nice and simple. You just keep blowing up your opponent's boards, linking off their monsters, and just interrupting their plays, really. On to the extra deck, guys. I'm running that one copy of Dingirsu. I am running this because, again, your monsters, or well, your soul cars, your bubble to bore, a Abominable, Unchained Soul, and Unchained Soul of Disaster are level 8. So you can use them to go into Dingirsu. However, if you do use Ashara or Wreck as a special ability that locks you into Fiends, obviously you can't go into Dingirsu because it is a machine a machine monster. But if you do special summon out um, Dingirsu, you can target one card your opponent has in the field and just send it to the graveyard. Doesn't target, doesn't destroy, absolute all around bad boy. I'm running three copies of Nightmare Unicorn. Now, the reason I'm running three is because of Extravagance. And I would like to play Unicorn during my opponent's play because it's another interrupt that you can do. Because if it's Link Summoned, you can discard one card in your hand and 
banish also and return one card your opponent has on the field back into the deck. So because we have a, a monster I'll get to in a minute that lets you link summon during your opponent's turn, you could just link summon whichever one of their monsters into Unicorn and then just bounce back one card in their field back into the deck. It's nice and simple really. So not only are we destroying, you can also bounce back cards as well. I'm running one co copy of um, Topologic Trisbana because you are special summoning a lot. You can just special summon a monster next to Tris Bainer's, um next to Tris Bainer's, um link arrow, and if you do, you banish as many spell and traps as possible on the field. Which means if your opponent has a back row, just play um, Tris. Um, you can play Tris Bainer, special summon that a monster, nuke the field, and then burn your opponent for each monster that was banished. I am running one, um, two copies of Trod. Um, Topolomic Zero Boros. Now, running Zero Boros is because of Extravagance banishes our own cards. You can use Kaiju Slumber to banish itself. And, of course, if your opponent is running like Desires or, or their own Extravagance, Zero Boros is going to have a lot more power as well. So, Zero Boros gains 200 attack for each monster... Oh, sorry, for each card that is banished. So, if each time you play Extravagance, Zero Boros is going to get stronger and stronger. And if a monster summons next to its Link Arrows, you can banish all cards on the field. So, when it comes back, uh, so event during the next standby phase, it comes back to the field. So, that means you nuke the field, banishing everything, and then during the next standby phase, it just comes back even stronger because there's more cards banished. So, you kind of use it as a beat stick. I am running two copies of Unchained um, Abomination. It is an Unchained monster, and it is also a, a rank, uh, and, and it's also a fiend. So, if you do play Wrecker or Ashura, you can still go into a Link 4. So if this bad boy is like the ultimate destroy card, however, he's kind of like the weak, he's the weakest and the strongest. So if this card is just, so if any card on the field is destroyed by a card effect, he can nuke a card. If any card on the field destroyed by battle, he can nuke a card. Really great. And also if, um, and also during the end phase, you can pop a card as well. So he has multiple ways of destroying cards. However, um, the other, uh, Monsters, Anguish, and Rage have effects where if they are sent to the graveyard, you can add a Unchained Monster from your grave to your hand. Hand And Abomination doesn't have that effect. So as for Unchained Soul Anguish, we are running free because again of, uh, of um, Extravagance. You can... Um, the um, ex um, Anguish and Rage need to have an Unchained Soul card. So for instance... In order to make Anguish, you have to use your Unchained Soul of Disaster or Abominable Unchained Soul. You have to use them, and then you would mainly use Rage and whichever opponent and an opponent's monster to go into Anguish. And Anguish has an effect where you can target a face-up monster your opponent controls and use it and itself to um, self to link summon um, a dark link monster in your extra deck. So of course Abomin Abomination is a dark monster as well and Zero Boros is also a dark monster so you can use Anguish to link summon into Zero Boros. And like, and like I say if this card is destroyed on the field by battle or by card effect you get to target a, a fiend in your grave and add it to your hand. So basically one of your unchained cards. And as for uh, um, unchained soul of rage Again, you need an Unchained Soul monster, which is actually very easy because you just pop one of your twins that brings out your monster. So basically, you use Unchained of Disaster to link one of your opponent's monsters to go into Rage. Then Rage's effect is, during your opponent's turn, you can target a special summoned monster your opponent controls and then link summon with it, which is very powerful because it's a quick effect. And also, like I say, if, you, if your opponent has a link monster as well, and you use the, your opponent's link monster with rage, you link client even quicker. You don't even have to go into anguish or unicorn. Say they've got like a link two or three. You could go into zero boros straight away just like that. And it's really great. And again, if this card is sent to the graveyard by battle or by card effect, you get to add a fee monster from your grave to your hand. So a really great guys I like to do is you go into disaster to link my opponent's monster away, go into souls, or go into Rage. You use Rage with your opponent's monster during their turn. You can then go into uh, Unicorn to bounce an opponent's monster back into the deck. And then if you have your other plays, such as you have a, another Unchained monster and, and Escape, you could pop Escape and then pop them as well. You could go into Soul so to destroy another monster. You have a lot of ways you can go just by interacting your opponent during their turn. It's what this deck's all about. It's all about destroying your opponent during their turn and really annoying. Because this deck has a lot of recursive energy. 
And that's it for the deck, guys. I do have a lot of replays because I was doing this on stream. So you are actually going to see my camera in there. I am going to be like doing anything very quickly because I am fast forwarding it all. Um, so yeah, wherever you are, guys, in the world, if you're enjoying this deck or um, or have some comments, put them description down below or maybe hit a thumbs up or, or consider subscribing because any one of those will help will help the channel grow. And wherever you are, guys, in the world, please stay healthy, stay um, stay safe, and goodbye.